Hey guys, just wanted to really uh, show you how easy it is to use these six pole isolators, uh, how we've wired one up in the Team Lux Performance XL, um, why you need to use them, how it meets the regs, and how easy it is. You don't need to be a really good auto sparker, you don't need a really in depth motorsport knowledge. Uh, so just sort of show you how easy it is and, and how we've done ours. So just quickly go over how easy they are, um, how we've wired this up in the Team Lux Performance XL, um, and the, uh, you know, importance of why you do it and, and the tricks to the discharging the alternator etc so just to show you isolator on ignition on engine starts happy as idling away sweet as hit the isolator engine's dead battery's isolated happy days i'm going to show you how we've wired it up um, so it's real basic, um, no hardcore trick um, motorsport connections, no uh, crazy wiring, really basic stuff. Battery cable here coming into the bottom of the isolator, just from the little lightweight battery down there. And then from the other side of the isolator switch, got the main cable going through to the back of the um, starter motor. And then from the starter motor, I've got it teed off to the uh, main fuse relay box in the engine bay and the alternator that gives everything one big nice circuit um, The thing that most people get wrong is they they don't use these six pole isolators. They just use a normal isolator I go to logbook the car or do an audit at a race meeting uh, Go to isolate the car kill it using the isolator the engines running hit the isolator pull the key out Engine still running because the alternator is still supplying all the power that the engine needs to run um, which is a fail, you know, you need to be able to isolate the battery and kill the engine from the isolator. Um, so how we do that, these switches have two sets of um, contacts on the back. This, this side here, these wires here, this contact is closed when the isolator is on. And so what I've got this here, the earth supply to the, uh, or the negative on the relay for the ECU, I've just got them teed into that. Uh, so when the isolator is on, that circuit's made, and then the earth is there for the relay for the ECU. When the isolator's off, this contact's open. That breaks the uh, negative to the relay for the ECU, which drops out that relay, uh, opens up. That cuts off the ECU. ECU shuts down. Fuel pump stop. Ignition stops. Everything to do with the engine stops, and it's, it's safe and happy. If you are doing a carbureted car, you tee this into the coil, into the negative side of the coil. Um, that way it kills the coil, coil collapses, and there's no ignition, no spark, it kills the engine. Some people do it on the fuel pumps. The reason I don't recommend the fuel pumps is because um, on an EFI car, there's enough fuel pressure for the engine to run on for a couple of seconds. Or in a carbureted car, you've obviously got that bowl full of fuel there. So if you're in an engine runaway scenario or you happen to uh, be the unfortunate person that's hit a wall and you're a bit unconscious or a bit doolally, uh, the poor um, flaggy, they've come over to, to make sure you're right. All they want to do is isolate the car, make it safe. All they know is to check for the big isolator, kill the car. If you haven't got it wired up right, they're going to try to kill the car. It's still going to have fuel going everywhere. The engine's still going to be doing what it's trying to do and it's uh, really not safe. The other important thing that a lot of people get wrong is uh, these other two contacts here. Now these are normally closed when the switch is off. So that's real important because uh, what this does is we use these to give the uh, alternator a safe place to discharge to ground. So basically on the, neg uh, on the positive wire we've got a jumper going to this. Um, and then from here, we've got another wire coming out that's going through a little resistor. I've heat shrinked it up just to make it look tidy. Um, but that's a little three arm resistor that's supplied with the Lux Performance uh, six pole isolators. And then I've just got that going to earth. So all that does is when the, when the isolator's off, that switch closes. The current from the alternator that's spinning down has somewhere to go. So it's got a load there with a little three arm resistor to earth. Um, so the alternators, as an alternator is spinning down, spinning away, turn the engine off, as it spins down, it's still got some, it's still got some current there, it's still got some voltage there. Um, same reason jumper leads have that little um, 
voltage spike protection pack on them, which is again it's the same thing. It's just a little re uh, little resistor, giving it a safe place for the alternator discharge. Because you've isolated the battery, there's nowhere for the alternator to discharge into. It's really important because on modern cars, a lot of electronics, you can fry the ECUs with a voltage spike. You can fry the um, gear on the back of the alternator or that circuit there. Um, I've heard lots of horror stories of real high-end cars have had a voltage spike from a from being tested at the track and uh, it's, it's not a good place to be in so yeah there you go it's really quick and easy um, really can't stress the importance of it you really need it because if if you have an accident um, whether you're even just at a club level of racing you manage to find yourself you put yourself into the wall and cat corner or you've turned it over on the bowl at Barbagella this is what we see a lot of speed events some of the drifting um, you know the poor officials there they get they get a a bit of training but they don't really know each individual car uh, all they know is that if if there's a, an issue there's a driver stuck a driver's unconscious they need to they need to kill that car they need to stop the stop the car and all they know is that the big isolator hit that the engine should stop uh, battery should be isolated everything should be safe but if you don't do it right the engine can run on your fuel pumps keep running it's really not a good thing there are some other ways of doing it. Um, there's some really awesome products like CarTech. They do a solid state relay version. Uh, really slick, uh, works really well with PDMs and real high end stuff. Um, bit expensive, but uh, again, a really nice product and I've seen that in a, in a few cars. I've got my own version of that in the Skyline just using push buttons rather than having to run the, the big old cable to activate it from outside. For racing, we have to have a secondary isolation point outside the car. Um, so that's why we run the, the cable set up here over to the front pillar uh, but yeah just an easy product if you've got any questions and, and you want to know how to do it or you're not sure just give us a holler it's we're, we're happy to help I've put them in uh, quite a few cars now they're just it's just a robust easy way to safely isolate your car so I really recommend it cheers